Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to concept, uh, we are going to consider another important concept of uh, 86 or 88 microprocessor uh, of Intel uh, Corporation, right? And this concept is what even address and odd address boundaries. These are what related to memory. So we will con again consider a memory section. Let's say in this diagram, you can see a chunk of memory is shown. Uh, whose addresses are given here and here we will store certain information, right? So this left column indicates addresses and this right column, which is currently blank, is basically a place where we will hold information. Okay, let's consider first of all, what is even address boundary and what is odd address boundary? Even address boundary. So you know that in 86 microprocessor, every time you are fetching or storing information is around 16 bit because these are 16 bit processor. So if the least significant bit of the address is zero, right? So whatever the address we are in, inserting, we are, whatever the information we are inserting at any address, we will be insert, in, interesting in what? Least significant bit of that address. And I will be explaining this thing, but if it is zero, so that uh, particular placement will be known as what even address boundary. Or one can also say that if the lower byte address, right? You know that if we are talking about a word, there will be lower byte, there will be a higher byte. So if the lower byte address is even, then particular placement will known as what? Even address boundary. And the reciprocal or the, and the total opposite uh, would be what? Odd address boundary. So least significant bit of address is one. That is again opposite to it. So it is called odd address boundary or the lower byte address is odd. So it will be counted uh, as odd address boundary, right? Let's consider an example. Let's say we have information 5684 uh, hertz, right? And we are storing that information. So we know that 56 will be stored separately as in higher byte, right? 56 hacks as higher byte and uh, 84 hacks will be stored uh, separately as lower byte, right? And let's say I'm storing it around here, 7244, right? So lower byte will go. Uh, we have already filled information up to uh, what? Up to 07244, uh, right? So we will be storing information here. So we have, we have a word, 84 will go to lower byte or the lower address. So it will go to what? Uh, 84 here and 56 here. So consider the address, the complete address of the word. Address will be what? 07244 or 07244. Address will be what? 07244. We are considering in the lower byte address, right? So 07244, is it even or odd? It is even. So that means this particular placement is what? This particular placement is what? Even address boundary, right? Because data is placed or a word is placed on even address, right? I hope you have understood the concept. Let's consider another example. Let's, uh, right, let's say we take a different example. And uh, sorry, we are storing 5684 again, and we are storing information over here, 07243. We consider that up to there, information is already filled, right? So 07243. So now 84 will go over here, and 56 will go over here. Again, we will see the address of the information. It will be always considered from the lower byte. So lower byte is stored at what? 07243. So address of information is 07243. So 07243 was odd number. So that is why this placement is known as what? Odd address boundary. I hope you have understood the concept of odd address boundary as well. Okay, this zero and what is the meaning of one? Let me explain you. Earlier in last example, what I explain you. Okay, I will take another example of even address so that you know, you can see the both examples simultaneously. Let's say I'm storing also information F4, A2, right? So F4, F4 hacks is higher byte. And A2 hacks is lower byte, right? And I'm storing information, let's say in 7246, right? Over here. So uh, A2 will come up here, right? This is a lower byte. And F4 will come up 07247. But 
if you will consider this placement, this concede, this is placed at even address. So this is a even address boundary. And the earlier was what odd address boundary. I hope you have understand the concept and now you can see the both examples simultaneously, right? So why this zero and one was discussed, I was explaining it. So if you consider zero, seven, two, four, three, of course it is odd address. Right. But if you convert it into binaries, you will understand my concept, right? Zero, 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 uh, because it's, it's an hexadecimal zero, one, one, two is zero, zero, one, zero. And three is what? Three is zero, one, sorry, double, double, zero, double one. So if you see the last bit, that is what least significant bit, the least significant bit is what one here. This is the point in which we were interested. So over here we are corresponding or we are explaining it. Does this one indicate it is an odd address? Similarly, you can check the 07246. Let me explain it for you. 07246. It's an even number. It's clearly, but you can see that if you convert it into binaries, 000, 000, 000, 000 triple one, four would be zero. Uh, uh, okay, there was a okay zero one double zero and six has become zero one one zero. So if you see the last bit now, it is what it is zero, and that is what I was telling you that whenever you consider a uh, even number, even address, then your least significant bit will be zero. Okay, there was a silly mistake, let me correct it in earlier when I was converting this uh, odd address into binary. This is basically one double zero, but it doesn't changes our concept. This concept relates same. So I hope you have understand the same thing. Uh, still, if you have any confusion or queries, you can post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.